anyone what happens to objects inside a car when the car makes a sharp turn to the left, and they'll tell you that objects tend to be thrown to the right. And ask what happens when the car makes a sharp turn to the right, they'll tell you that objects tend to be thrown to the left. We're going to look at a video clip of two balloons inside a van as the van makes sharp left and right turns. One of the balloons will be tethered from the ceiling and filled with air. The other balloon will be tethered from the floor of the van and is filled with helium. What happens to these two balloons might surprise you. As the van turns to the left and continues circling to the left, notice the motion of the two balloons. As the van turns to the right and continues circling to the right, notice the motion of the two balloons. You probably weren't at all surprised to see the air-filled balloon swing to the right when the van made a sharp turn to the left and swing to the left when the van made a sharp turn to the right. However, the helium-filled balloon swung to the right when the van turned to the right and leaned to the left when the van turned to the left. Let's look at each of these individually to see more about what's happening. As the van turns to the left, and continues circling to the left, the balloon leans to the right. As the van turns to the right and continues circling to the right, the balloon leans to the left. We can use Newton's first law of motion to explain the behavior of the air-filled balloon as the van turned to the left and to the right. Newton's first law of motion states that objects will continue with a constant velocity unless acted on by an unbalanced force. This means that while the van was moving forward at a constant speed, everything inside the van, including the balloon, was, were moving forward at that same constant speed. When the van made a sharp turn to the left, objects inside the van, including the balloon, tended to continue moving forward. This gave the appearance of the balloon being swung out to the right, when in fact, it was simply trying to go forward by its own inertia. Similarly, when the van made a sharp turn and circled to the right, the balloon continued moving forward, giving it the appearance of being thrown to the left, when in fact, it was still moving forward. However, this explanation does not explain the behavior of the helium-filled balloon. Let's look at the helium-filled balloon and then discuss why it behaved the way it did. As the van turns to the left and continues circling to the left, we see the helium balloon lean toward the left. As the van turns to the right and continues circling to the right, we see the helium balloon lean toward the right. So why didn't the helium-filled balloon move the same direction as the air-filled balloon? One way to explain this is to use fluid dynamics and buoyancy. As the van moved forward at a constant speed, Everything inside the van, including the air molecules around the helium-filled balloon, was also moving forward at that same speed. When the van made a sharp turn to the right, the air molecules inside the van continued to move forward. This led to a buildup and greater density of air molecules on the left side of the van than there was on the right side of the van. That greater density of air molecules on the left side of the van created a buoyant force that pushed the lighter-than-air helium balloon from the left side of the van toward the right side of the van. Similarly, when the van made a sharp left turn, the air molecules continued moving forward, leading to a greater buildup of air molecules on the right side of the van. That created a buoyant force that pushed the lighter-than-air helium balloon toward the left. The same thing might happen when the van accelerates forward and speeds up, or when it suddenly comes to a stop after moving forward. Let's look at video clips of both balloons as the van accelerates forward from rest and as the van accelerates to a stop while slowing down. 
but see if you can explain why the air-filled balloon and the helium-filled balloon exhibit the behaviors that you see in the video clips. As the van accelerates forward, the balloon leans backward. As the van slows to a stop, accelerating backward, the balloon leans forward. As the van accelerates forward, the balloon leans forward. When the van slows down and accelerates to a stop, the balloon leans backward. I hope you found these video clips informative and useful. Your students will certainly want to try this out for themselves with their own balloons. Please visit arborside.com for other resources that could help you in your classes.